All right, guys, we got a 1989 Cat D7G ex-military dozer here you guys have been watching my channel you've seen the first video of me actually getting this thing going um it come in it was missing the starter this transmission charge pump was all gone or hanging off of it anyway got all that stuff put back on there and it actually started up so i think the only thing that was wrong with it to begin with was the starter but they sold it as an in-op anyway guys i'll put a link in the description you can uh check that video out um definitely want to watch that one if you've not seen it so today i got hunter with me somewhere over there we're going to uh, change out the uh all the filters and fluids i'll run this thing around um got it all warmed up everything seems to be work, working fine on it so we're going to drain the transmission on it um check the finals hydraulic change all those filters we got a couple fuel filters are you ready yeah. yep i think the first thing we'll do first is get the uh transmission to drain them back here it uh, holds the most and take a while to run out while that's going we'll get up here and change some filters out uh, if you guys watched the first video you know i was missing some clamps here i've got some new clamps from uh, itr for that hose I just put some bolts in there temporarily got some new filters um got a you guys remember in that um transmission suction filter it was missing a little spring washer i got one of those so Oh yeah, no, another thing I don't have, I got new batteries in it. I need a um, battery box cover. You know, unfortunately, couldn't find any good used ones. They're all gone. Caterpillar wants like $1,100 for that thing. So what we're probably gonna do is make one up on the plasma cutter there later today, get one of those made. So, but uh, we're gonna get to it. You ready to drain that uh, transmission fluid? I need a three quarter ratchet and probably a light. All right, we're up under the dozer here. Got our uh, canister on. I'm actually pulling a little bit, a little bit of vacuum on it. I can't talk. So, because this oil is going to come pouring out of here at Mach 10, so hopefully it'll help suck it down quicker. Um, I think this thing holds 18 gallons. I don't remember. It's a bunch. That's about all my canister holds. So we'll uh, get this drain plug pulled out and see what we got. All right, here we go. Ooh. Well, that'll fill her up quick. Should put my big funnel back on there. All right, while well, that's draining down there, Hunter's checking the funnel drives. You got a light there? Yeah. It's a little low. And there's no thread. Yeah, it needs a little bit in it. It's about an inch low. It should be at the bottom of the threads right there. That's got gear oil on it, pretty clean and everything. Let's pop the other side off and check it. And then we'll top that off with a little bit of gear oil. Mm, that's empty. Yeah, it's just like the other side. About the same, isn't it? It's nice and clean, though. Yeah, go ahead and get some of your gear oil and top those off. And I'm gonna keep on letting this. This thing's running this can faster and it's sucking it out. That's a lot of wool up in there. Yeah, that's it. I'm getting some new gear oil. All right, that's fine. I slowed down. We're gonna stay up with it. All right, I'm gonna let that sit there and drain out a good while. Hunter's filling up the uh, final drive there. 
This is a plug out of the uh, transmission. A little bit of sludge on it, nothing major. No metal, well, that's the main thing. Getting her filled up there? Yep, yeah, about there. So those usually, as long as they're touching the bottom of the threads, they're fine, so. Get that drain plug all cleaned up. I'm ready to go back in there. Oh, well, there's a ripper there. Get that one full. Yeah. Get the other side. Yeah, it's like. Go ahead and put this plug back in here. Good thick stuff. Yeah. All right, he's gonna finish topping those off, and then uh, I think we'll go up and uh, work on the transmission filters. We gotta pull that suction screen filter out here next. We place that spring in there. We'll probably pull a vacuum and suck all the oil out of those two housings there too. So. All right, we're up here. Hunter's gonna pull off the uh, transmission filter housing first, then we'll pull off that suction screen housing. We'll actually uh, pull those filters out and suck the oil out of there. Ready? Yeah. Now get a pry bar and help you. Take the bolt out of that one. Just a checker plug. Where do you want me to set this thing? Just in there? Yeah, you can take that one hang, suck that oil out of it first. Put that in there, turn your valve on. See it sucking that out there? Yeah. There's actually a drain on the bottom of those. You can open the drain up, but it's a little bit cleaner to do it that way. Somebody put a junky old frame filter in there. Who does that? I don't know. Well that's draining, you can take this other cover off. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there went in that. I lost my nut. I lost don't it. have no more of those. I you like the guy that took this apart the first time and lost everything. All this was laying in pieces. Yeah, take that out. Set it in the pan there. Set the rest of that out. So, somebody was paying attention. I actually caught it when I uh, ordered parts for this. We didn't have a uh, there's actually a spring washer on here and somebody actually caught this. I put this in upside down. I caught it when I went to go order parts, but somebody was watching me for sure. So that's a transmission 
suction screen filter if you watched the first video all this stuff was missing so it actually goes down in there like that is that housing clean or does it need sucked out this one no the other one it's clean yeah. all right just finishing up sucking the oil out of the looks like that one's done too hunter's got the oil sucked go ahead and let it suck itself dry there oh. There you go. Shut it off. Shut it off. Set this out of the way. Maybe. That's it there. Alright, and clean that off. I got you some new O rings and got the O rings greased up. I'm ready for a new filter. Is that Is one like that? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, got your O-ring on there and that got that greased up. Bolts. I got one Okay. Alright, I cleaned that suction strainer filter out. It had a little bit of stuff in it, not much, because we have been driving around uh, before we brought it in here. I'm going to put this thing in the right way now. The magnets come out the bottom. Say, like when I got this thing, it was missing all this stuff. It's been a couple days since I'd worked on one of these. You got this new spring washer, it goes in here, like so. That's lined up on there. There we go. That's the part we was missing. Okay, I'm gonna put that plate on there. Got some grease on it. There you go. Okay. New washers. The same washers, I guess. Yeah, this one in there because I dropped it. Mm-hmm. Nuts. Just want to hit those. You don't want to hit them too much. That impact you. Break those off. Go ahead. Let's get all of them snug down and hit them a little bit. I'm not sure you can take this wrench and go over them by hand so you don't get them too tight with that. Okay. Safest way. All right, he's gonna tighten the filter housing bolts down. Kind of, you gotta walk around that. It I'll walk down. around it. Now go where he was, crossways. Tighten it just like this one. Now oh, look, you got you gotta make sure you keep the same gap around it as you go down. This side's tight, so you need to hit over here. There you go. That's got that shoulder, shouldered housing, so you gotta be careful. And hit him a little bit more. Like that one? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, that's good. Now we need to take these, uh, here you go. You might be able to take an extension off there too. Let's take, uh, let's just take two bolts out. I got these new clamps from Mike TR here. Since it was missing them or they lost, they're probably laying in the belly pan. If you want to take two bolts out, we'll try to do two at a time. I like my clamp job I had going on there. Sweet. That didn't leak.
All right, Hunter's finishing tightening up those last clamp bolts. I got uh, new fuel filters here. Putting a little grease on the O-ring. He's gonna change those out next. And we'll get that primed up. How you coming down there? Good, just gotta get the... I got a regular wrench here if you want one. That'll make it easier on you, tighten them up. It's kind of a pain to get to down there. So we got a primary filter here and then the secondary that one should just have like a wire mesh in it i do have a new new one here they're pretty cheap we'll see what's in there sometimes it's like a stone type filter he'll open those up next and we'll see what we got all right he's taking the primary filter loose there first I got you. Okay. Be a little bit of fuel and I just twist it. There you go. You got your pan over there. And this tractor didn't have much fuel on it. I think they may run out of fuel and burnt the starter up cranking on it. That was the demise of it. Once you got there. Pull this little filter out and see. There you go, grab that. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Say that's actually reusable. We got a new one sitting over there, not very much. Take a little brake cleaner and spray that out, and we'll put a new one back in there. Oh. See all that junk come out of there? Yeah, it catches nice. all the big sediment first. Made in Indonesia. You can't make anything here, huh? Oh, that is pretty good. I think you got her, don't you? Yeah, I see so. Make sure it's dried out, shake it out real good. Can you wipe it out or? Yeah, that's fine. All right, we got a new O-ring up in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this here so you don't mess that O-ring up. There's your new filter. Get her lined up. So on these canister style filters, they got this nice square sharp metal lip there. I usually just run them up until they touch and then you want to crank the bolt the rest of the way because if you keep cranking on that, you'll take a chance of cutting that rubber o-ring up there, you see what I'm saying? So you just yeah. want to go till they stop. Don't yeah, don't keep cranking on it because you'll, yeah. If you keep doing that, it'll cut that o-ring, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now you want to hold one, that with your hand and tighten the top bolt up. So you don't want that metal, metal canister to spin anymore. It come less likely messing up your o-ring in there. Uh, just a little past snug, you don't have to be killer. A little bit more. That's good. Alright, got you a fuel filter wrench here. Oh, good and tight. Oh, yeah, it's good and tight. Mm hmm.
turn it upside down your pan. One thing we should do, one screw this primer pump, make sure it works before we put the new filter on. So that's your primer pump there. So unscrew, unscrew that. Unscrew it all the way. Alright, now lift up on it. And give her a pump one time and see if it works out. Yeah, push it down and see if it's working. The primer pump, push it down. Oh, push it down? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see how it feels good yeah. out? That way we know that's working. I got grease on your new filter there. Paper towel, wipe it off. So you want to get that as tight as you can with your hands. So. Right. You're not used to changing filters on D7s. You're 850 man, aren't you? Yeah, I normally change up my 850s. <laughs> Always something different. I'd say you got her. Yep. Now we're gonna crack that little bleeder screw there. I think it's 7/16 right here. Crack it or just like? Yeah, a little bit more. All right. Now you can pump away on your primer pump. So what he's doing, he's pulling fuel out of the fuel tank and filling these filters out and it's pushing air up. It's gonna push air out. When we get solid fuel up there, we'll shut that off. See that air coming out? Yeah, keep going until she's done. Oh yeah, it's getting good. Getting good and hard. Hang on. Ooh. Still got air in it, see? Give me a pump more or not? Yeah, give her another pump or two. A little bit more. More? I think you about got her, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Tighten this or give her a couple tighten that up first and I like to give it a couple pumps just to make sure. And that's good on that. And give your primer pump a couple pumps. It's good and hard. Pump her up till she gets hard. Yep. And then push that down and screw it back in. And that is it on this side. We're gonna go down and check the transmission. I think it's about done draining, and then we'll uh, drain the engine oil and change the filter over there. There we go. All right, back down in the pit. Hunter's tightening up the uh, transmission housing drain plug. He gets that tight. The next thing we're gonna do, I didn't say it earlier, we're gonna drain the uh, torque converter housing out here. It's up here in this hole, because it holds quite a bit of oil too. But right now, my oil canister is full down here. We're actually pumping it out. I've got a uh, air hose in it. We pressurize this canister, and it actually goes up and outside into oil collection, right up outside, so. And once that gets full, we have somebody pick up a used oil, so. Next thing we'll do, once this pumps out, we'll get, uh, get that torque converter plug out, and then we'll move on up to the engine. Oh yeah. I didn't want that coming loose. <clears throat> little pipe. I may have to let me try it this way. Little push. Oh yeah. We really need a pipe on that one. You got a supply pump? Yep. Really gonna get dangerous now, huh? That's for sure. I can't find it. There we go. Where are we going? 
Somebody put a camera out in the way, didn't they? Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Your fingers? Yeah. That's a good one, huh? Get some help. Oh, not knocked him out. Oh, that's my hand. Yeah, I got that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a five foot handle. It helps. Okay, let's slide that off. Down this? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get the drain plug all or drain pan set up. We'll get her drained out. Alright, we got our vacuum pulling on our tank, so it helps suck that oil down. Let's we'll see if we can't uh, make a big old mess here. What do you think? Who's gonna get oily? Well, step away. If you're gonna step away, that's probably the smart thing to do. Alright, that's all done draining. I'm going to tighten this up. <clears throat> Alright. We're going to move on up the way. Alright, we better turn the suction on here too. The left? Right here. Oh, okay. Alright. Got our vacuum pulling on the green pan. This just has a 9 16 screw it backs out and drains it. Oh yeah. We have to go up above and open it up under. Okay. I don't feel like getting all oily. Huh? Taking the uh, engine oil filter off. Oh, it's heavy, huh? Yeah, it's a little bit heavier than I thought. <laughs> Tip her over. You got oil over it now. Yeah, the threads are also put in the A place. So, uh, I just opened up this Napa filter box. And it says Napa on it, right? This little, little paper falls out, says Man and Hummel. Apparently, Man and Hummel is making filters for Napa during the uh, supply chain issues, it says. You guys can see that right there. They just put a Napa sticker over top the Man and Hummel. Interesting. They're making them for Wix filters, which Wix is Napa filters, but this isn't a Wix filter. I don't think there's nothing wrong with those. But we'll get a little bit of oil and put in there. We can't fill it plumb full, and uh, we'll get that dude put on there. All right, Hunter's putting a new man and humble Napa branded oil filter in. You guys let me know what you think of that. I guess at least we got a filter anyway. The filters are hard to get. This thing had Fram filters, cat filters. I don't know what that one was. A little bit of everything. He's getting that on there. Um, engine oil is still draining. We're going to uh, let that drain on out. We'll get a couple air filters and put in it. All right, Hunter's taking the bolts out of the inner air filter. Those are actually lock nuts. Yeah. There's a roll of uh, nuts around there. It holds that inner one in. As the gas, you gotta make sure the gasket comes out with it. Break that seal on that gasket. No 
old gaskets in there. You need to get it off there. Try to get it off in one piece. Won't come off in one piece? Yeah. Yep. How's it looking there? Yeah. Good? Clean to me. No gasket left anywhere? No. Alright. Moving in, it goes in like that. Got her, don't you? Yeah. Got you your marker there. It's got 1,354 hours on it. Maybe put change. Yeah, just put, yeah. Or you just put the hours on, it's fine. Uh, what'd you say? 1,354. And then today's date, which is 314. 22. All right. Wanna go ahead and write that on this outer one here? Uh -uh. So I got a new clamp and nut that goes there. It was missing. Okay. It goes put the nut in there first. Oh, the nut? Yeah. Stood it in a few turns. I may have to leave that off actually. Make that be on. So this filter's offset here. You can see that? It only goes on one way. Yeah. That air filter sitting in there offset too. It goes like that, I believe. You put that under there. Did it have to go over this thing? Yeah. yeah. There you go. You have to loosen that clamp up on the other side. Somebody just had some bailing water on it, wasn't right. Yeah. Okay. Look at the paint line around the sides. Yeah. All right, he's gonna finish tightening that up. I'm gonna go shut the engine oil off and then we'll start filling some fluids up. All right, back up top here. Hunter's gonna take out the uh, hydraulic filter. It's up here inside the tank here. I believe it's the same exact filter as the transmission filter. Is it just these two, the middle one? No, just the middle one. Oh, just the middle one? Just the middle one. You got carried away there, didn't you? I should have told you. Go ahead. Okay. I'll probably have to get another. Yeah, it's a big dude. I think I got a nut on the bottom right here. Yeah. What size is that? 15. Kind of loose. Yeah, 15, 16, 15. Mm-hmm. Tighten it and I'll hold it. Okay, a little bit more, yeah. That's good. You have to be real tight. All right, got the hydraulic filter changed. I think the engine will ought to be done draining. We'll go shut it off and start filling some stuff up. You got to twist it to loosen the rubber up or just pull her out like a man, I guess. All right, Hunter's gonna fill the engine up. We turn it on and reset it. Okay. Did you open the tip up? Nope, oh, that's a good idea. He shut the engine oil off. I think they hold like, uh, it's either six or seven gallons, so. We'll uh, 
probably put about five gallons in it and check it just to be on the safe side. I'd say it's a 24 or 28 quarter if I was guessing. Yeah. And stop about 20 and check it and see if it's showing on the stick. And then I'm gonna get uh, the transmission fluid out and uh, we'll fill up the transmission. And uh, I think the hydraulic's still good on it yet, so. A little super clean looking. We do have an access panel we've got to put on here yet. We'll probably do that here shortly too. I've got it laying over there. Yep. Hunter's checking how much how many quarts you put in it? I put twenty in. Oh crap, that's my head. How much? Twenty quarts. Wipe it off and check it there again. It looked like it was right on that add line. Is there a way to keep that up or no? No. See that goes down and a lock goes through to lock it. So nobody can get in your dipstick cap. Okay. Nobody wants to put crap in your dipstick. That's just a little bit above the ad line. Okay. So the ad ad to full is usually a gallon on these, so put um, two quarts or something. In no, put because uh, that filter's not all the way full. Oh yeah. Where'd you stop at? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, I'd throw another four quarts in it. All right, we got the seat tilted up. Got uh, access to the transmission down here. We got uh, dipsticks over here. And this is actually the fill plug. I got it loosened up already. It's a three quarter square drive. I'm gonna get her topped off. Or filled all the way up. I guess we drained her, didn't we? Nope, I got her. All right, we're gonna get this filled up and then uh, we'll about be ready to start it. We'll have to start it to check the fluid. You're supposed to check these with them running. Check and see if we got any leaks anywhere, huh? Yeah. All right. Do you wanna, let me put this cap back on the tank. No, I can, yeah, just throw it on loosely. Got the transmission. Uh, Filled up just a little bit over full is when it starts up, it's gonna suck up and fill that torque converter housing back up. So we're gonna try to fire her up here. Get the fuel set up. You watch for leaks and stuff over there, Hunter? Yeah. Go ahead and hit the key and start. I got it set at the idle. Right now. Sounded good. I got the transmission right on the full line. Good. Get the cat back in there. Double check the engine oil. Um, then we need to check the lights and a couple other things on our list. We gotta make this battery box cover yet. We're getting there. All right. Hunter had to put a little bit more oil in it. End up taking. Twenty-eight. You're at quarts. twenty-eight quarts right now. Yeah, on the full. It's right there. Right there. End up taking seven gallons or 28 quarts to fill that 3306 up. All right, we noticed we got one headlight out up here. We're gonna make sure we got power. They've got that one all tweaked and tore up. Um, they actually, when they picked this thing up, it wasn't running, they actually had a wrecker and they set it on the low boy trailer. And I'm guessing somebody probably put a chain there and tweaked that on me. 
that's just my theory so who knows we're gonna see what's going on up there all right got up here i was getting ready to test for power on this light and uh i guess there's no need to it's kind of kind of broken so i'll order a new light housing and get those pretty cheap i believe aftermarket and i'll see about this hoop i think i can get those aftermarket too if not we can probably leave that dude bolted up push it down and straighten it up we'll uh, look into that but that'll be over in kevin's department we'll let him fix that up body shop guy get it all right what's next hunter i know we got a track frame cover over that's um uh broken got some bolts broke off in it unfortunately right over here or maybe not broken it just needs some bolts we'll get some bolts in that dude and tighten that up all right got that shield on there hunter's uh taking off some bent parts back here you got water coming out of hole hmm. This is a jerry can bracket, it's got smashed. Well, I was guessing the same thing happened to the headlight, the uh, crane man tweaked that. What do you want back? I'd say you're right. All right, two more? It's a wet one. Got it. That hurt my arm. Scrap metal. Can't handle all that Milwaukee power. Getting a little bit heavy. Getting heavy. All right. Needs a paint job. I know a guy. Yeah. All right. I think it's lunchtime. And after lunch, we're going to work on this battery box. I'm going to make a new cover. I think I'm going to make this side piece here new. We'll have to take this panel off to get to it. It's actually got some corrosion down there. The rest of it's pretty solid, so. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. You think it's summertime out here? You got your freaking t-shirt on. Why I'm hot? I don't know about you. I've been standing in the... Next to me say you've been working. Working? No, I've been standing in the sun. I've been working, Daddy. I have to take a t-shirt. <laughs> You're still in your coveralls. I don't want to get dirty. But this thing's probably heavy. I say so. You got it? Yeah, you can help me grab it. Oh, yeah. It's a little rusty in there. Looks like we need to um, make a new cover here. What's this about? 916, so that's a piece that holds up. You get some, yeah. Take those bolts out. So we got that cover off. I think we're gonna take this off. Go ahead and make a new piece here. And uh, and we'll make a new battery box lid for it. What do you think? Yeah. Get rid of some of that rusty stuff. Can't believe they're all coming out. Oh, that one's attached up there. So all these rusty, crusty bolts come out, but somebody actually put anti-seize on them. Saved us. One for that, they wouldn't come out. That's all right. A little crusty. Hmm. That other stuff's all super solid. Yeah. All right. Are we ready to make a couple pieces? We're going to make a side and a new lid. And uh, get them put on there, huh? 
make sure they fit and we'll probably have to have Kevin paint them. All right, we got our piece laid out here. I actually drew up a picture of the battery box. I know you guys probably can't see that, it's in red ink. Um, we're gonna get some measurements of these holes here. So we're gonna have to draw this piece all out uh, from scratch on the uh, plasma computer. So we're gonna find the center of all these holes, measure them all out, see how much this uh, bend is, and we're gonna cut some uh, new pieces out of 18 inch steel here, what do you think? And then we'll take it over to the press We'll bend these uh, 90s on here. We'll probably bend corners over that battery box lid too. We got to figure out the handle situation. I kind of remember how they went. Um, they got to be able to lock too. So, are you ready? Yeah. All right. We're gonna get this all drawn out. We'll get them cut out, and then we'll uh, get some pieces bent. All right. We got uh, our battery box lid drawn up. Don't know if you guys can see that. We got that there. We're gonna bend these uh, ears over to make a box and that's going to be our side panel down here down here we're going to bend this uh lip on the bottom of there you think it's going to fit i think so you think so you hope so all right we're going to get this loaded onto a thumb drive send it over to the plasma cu uh, cutter and uh cut her out You do a good job not the first time not the first time we you guys see we got some extra holes here we didn't have it lined up right but you know what i'm sure i'll cut something else out and use that area anyway we got us some new pieces going on here Make sure that's not right. all right we're going to dry these off Get all the slag cleaned off. Not very much slag on there. It's a pretty, pretty slick cut, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We'll get those all cleaned up, dried up. We'll take them over in the uh, press break. See if we really can't tear something up. Yeah. All right, got our battery box lid. We got our side cover there. We're going to uh, get you guys set up here. You're going to see we've got to bend these. Uh, I think they're three and a quarter or three and a half inch returns. I'll bend the two long ones here. We may have to um, bend this short one. Maybe upstairs, I got an old uh, press break up there, a manual one, we can pull some fingers out. Or we can just bend that section. Or we might well put it in a vise and bend it too, one way or the other, so. But we'll do the long ones first in there, and then we'll get a game plan for that. And we gotta bend that long lip on the other piece. Fire this dude up.
yeah, that's all right. Let's get match it up to the old one here. We'll see how it uh, lines up. Turn her upside down here. I'm pretty good at it. Let's see if it fits on the tractor. Yep. Um, so since we couldn't bend these in this press, because um, these corners would hit here, I think we can take this dude upstairs. I've got a hand uh, break up there. We can bend those little areas. All right, here, upper in the old manual. Dirty. Man, it's dirty. Yeah, it's dirty. Dirty. I didn't leave the lights on either. We're going to uh, bend this dude up here. This thing's really not the not rated for eighth inch steel, I don't think, but we're bending it anyway, aren't we? Yeah. You ready? Yep. Go. Thing. I think. There. Just that easy. All right. There you go. Got one box. All right. Okay, so this brake here has removable fingers in it. Pull it back. Okay. You can pull fingers out. Where you can bend stuff like that, but it's really, I think, only rated for 16 gauge. I think you can do eight. That's about a 12 inch break, but it's about all at once. All right, we're gonna go back down. All right, I got tied up yesterday, and uh, we're back in here today. Got that side piece made. You got the battery box lid sitting on there. It looks like everything's gonna work out just fine. I do have to? Uh, this was all rust away. Another one, so I didn't see it. There's actually three holes come up through underneath to fasten this side piece on so I'm gonna have to notch that out with the plasma cutter but other than that uh, I'm gonna weld these corners up and uh, up here we're gonna drill a hole through and weld a nut on the uh, battery tray underneath there fasten it down with a couple bolts that way but other than that it's gonna turn out pretty good I think so I'm gonna leave all this stuff off and let Kevin paint it all so I think that's about it on that. We've got everything else done on the tractor. I'm gonna get a light and stuff ordered for up there. Um, next thing we'll do, we'll take it outside and run it around a little bit. Make sure everything's good. I did run it the other day for probably an hour or so. Everything uh, seemed fine on it, so we're gonna give her another little test run on it. But uh, other than that, it's gonna get cleaned up. Randy's gonna go wash her, aren't you, Randy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Randy's gonna wash it, and then Kevin's gonna work his magic on it, so. If you guys want to see that, uh, that'll be coming up next.
All right, guys, that's about a wrap on this project. Uh, we've run it around, uh, oh, probably over an hour or so. Got it good and hot. Made sure we didn't have any more leaks. I had an O-ring leaking over there at the charge pump. Um, got, uh, got the grill and stuff out. Randy got it uh, washed. We got a hose of tracks and stuff off. It started raining out here while Hunter was driving around, so got all the grease and stuff off of it anyway, so next time you see this thing it's probably going to be all uh, nice and green and pretty i'll try to maybe get some footage of that or we'll put it together after the fact and see a video on that so we did drain the transmission on it a couple times got it good and hot and run it around a few times so got that all flushed out and made sure she's all good so but yeah it's going to make somebody a heck of a tractor the thing is uh feels good and strong and everything feels like it's going to be a good one so um Kevin's going to work his magic on it. So if you guys like this sort of stuff, definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And leave some comments below. Um, always like reading your guys' comments. So, And uh, if you want to see some more action in this thing, definitely subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.